Hi everyone. My name is Josh and I'm here to tell you guys some very important things about the Most High. I know many of you will not continue watching this cartoon because it doesn't have violent people killing each other or people doing unrighteous things. So be it. But I'm here to tell all of you that the end is near. Just like that song C4C wrote back in the days. The end is near. We have no more time left to be playing around. Everyone is walking around with a mask on their faces because the government told them to do so but my question is. How many commandments, laws and statutes that we have in the Bible that Yahuwah told us not to do and we still going our ways and refuse to do them? Why does no one care? Why is everyone kept saying that we are under grace and the laws are done away with and that we are covered by the blood of Yahuwah? Does that mean we can kill whoever we want and still be covered? Can we commit adultery and still be covered? Can we break the Sabbath and still be covered? We really need to know what grace really means. I'm sure that many of you watching me right now have credit cards right. When you have a grace period to pay a bill, does that continue forever? When they give you a grace period of 5 days after the end of the month to pay your rent, can you continue after those 5 days without being charging a late fee? No you cannot because the grace period is for a short time. We have a grace period to repent and stop all sinning and follow those commandments, laws and statutes or we will be destroyed. We need to learn how to fear God. And how do we fear God? We fear God by doing the followings. This world don't teach us to fear the Lord. Instead, they teach us to be rebellious, devilish and indulging in our own pleasures. Judging every word of the Bible that goes against their will and lifestyles. Everything they practice is against God's laws and principles. Fearing the Most High is doing what He wants you to do. Following His commandments, obey the Sabbath, which will be part of the kingdom and worshipping Him the right way. How do we act so quick to fall for any trends and obey the laws of the land when God also gave us laws and we choose not to obey them? Don't you guys know that there are consequences for that? We need to wake up and read the Bible and stop living according to our own understandings. I'm going to say this right now. If you claim yourself as a child of the Most High, you will follow His laws if you want to be beam up into those chariots when the firmament cracks open but if you think that you are under grace and refuse to obey any of those laws, I'm sorry to tell you that. You will get burned with nuclear fire and brimstones on that day. Fearing the Most High is living by His laws and today on this Sabbath day I'm here to tell you all that this world will soon end whether you believe it or not. Those who stand with the Most High will soon be sealed and everything will be chaos afterwards. When you see famine, more plagues falling upon this land, race wars, and wickedness happening right before your eyes and World War III comes upon this land, you will surely know that the end is really near and I want you to know one thing. If you decide to call upon the name of the Most High around that time, when everything is shut down and you have no choice, you will be wasting your time because He will not hear you. The time is now to repent and follow His commandments. The clock is on the last minute and the whole world is upside down even how the media is hiding everything from us. Get some news around the world and you will be surprised to see and hear what's really going on. America made it seem like everything is just fine when they are not. We need to repent before it's too late my brothers and sisters. And lastly, the Blacks, Spanish and Native American Indians are the 12 chosen tribes of Israel. Our job is to obey Yahuwah's laws and follow His commandments. Those who chose to do so will make it to the kingdom and those who choose to follow their own doctrines and do whatsoever they want to do by thinking that those laws are done away with. To all have a surprise coming for you. Matthew 5 verse 17 said that Yahuwah did not come to abolish the laws. He came to fulfill the laws. Baruch 4 verse 1 said that the laws abided forever, not one time, not one generation. Those who refuse to follow them will be destroyed. The commandments were placed by the Most High for us to follow. My question to you is, why we refuse to follow them when we claim that we love the Most High? John 14 verse 15. It says if you love me, keep my commandments. How can you claim to love the Most High and refuse to follow and keep His commandments? Examine yourselves before it's too late. This portal is about to close and the time to repent is now. Once again. Be the Most High and do His will by following His commandments, laws and statutes and you will make it to the Kingdom. My name is Josh and this has been the Word of Yahuwah.